For over 30 years, the Chicano Latino Youth Leadership Project has inspired hundreds of students all over California. We offer four separate programs for sophomore and junior high school students. The Los Angeles Institute, the San Joaquin Valley Institute, the Bay Area Institute, and a week-long conference at the Sac State campus, the Sacramento Leadership Conference. This past summer, out of hundreds of applicants, 120 students were invited to be a part of the SLC. I was one of those students. When I got dropped off at the conference on Saturday morning, I had no idea what to expect. All I knew is that I would spend a week at the Sac State campus, surrounded by people who were just like me. When I arrived, I was welcomed by scores of volunteers and staff members. Everyone was so friendly and full of energy. This completely erased my anxiety. After a welcome dinner, our familias were announced, and for the first time, I met the people who would become my close friends in this adventure. Everything about the conference was different from anything I'd ever experienced. From the outset, everything was new, exciting, and informative. We learned about the legacy of Sal Castro and the student movement of the 60s. And we heard from the people who were actually there. We learned about the importance of seeking a higher education. Dr. Solorzano from UCLA taught us about the educational pipeline for Latinos in the United States and how to fix the leaks. Dr. David Hayes Bautista educated us on the real significance of remembering our history and the power that this knowledge holds. We learned about the impact that our people had during the American Civil War and the significance of the Cinco de Mayo holiday. Award-winning journalist Sonia Nazario gave one of the most compelling presentations of the conference. She related her experience following Enrique a young Honduran boy as he made his way to the United States as an immigrant. She talked about his struggles and the dangers that he encountered along the way. Guest speaker Gustavo Arellano, editor of the OC Weekly, taught us about the power of storytelling and communication. He inspired us to tell stories that have a great impact on the lives of the people around us. On Tuesday, Ms. Ellie Peck led a huge campaign workshop in which the entire group split up into committees with the task of running a political campaign. We ran four campaigns, presented our candidates, and held a vote. Capital Day on Wednesday was intense and amazing. All 120 students went to the state capitol where for one day, we became real legislators. We held mock hearings in committee, held caucus votes, debated real bills on the actual floor of the California Assembly. And after presenting our cases, we got a chance to vote on those bills. Thursday was all about college. We had the opportunity to attend a college fair where we could talk one-on-one -on -one with representatives from prestigious colleges and universities. And these were only a few of the awesome things that happened that week. For me, the Sacramento Leadership Conference was one of the most eye-opening and inspiring events I've ever experienced. I learned to value my culture and history. I was shown tools that I could use to better my community. And I was inspired to focus on my future. I also made some amazing friends and met incredible role models who give me the motivation to be successful. This is why I encourage you to get involved. Get connected. If you're a sophomore or a junior in high school, apply to our program. It's completely free. If you're a professional who wants to give back, become one of our many volunteers. Serve as a facilitator, peer counselor, support staff, or join the dedicated group of people who work year-round to plan and organize our programs. 
And if you have the means, become a sponsor of COYLP and support California's future leaders. Visit CLYLP.org to get connected, get involved, and give back.